Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in chat LLM Teams, and I got something awesome to show you. Guys, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Claude Sonnet 3.5 artifact window. It just came out. Well, now you can use the same functionality with all the top LLMs. That's right, we're talking Gemini 1.5 Pro, GPT-4 Omni, Llama 3, Claude Sonnet 3.5, etc. With chat LLM teams, you're not restricted to just Sonnet 3.5. It works with all the big ones. And I'm going to show you examples. Let's go. All right. So the next step is you want to go to advocates.ai. Links in the description below. Hover over products and select chat LLM or chat LLM teams. You get taken to this page. You get two options. You can sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, here's the thing. It's only $10 per month and you get your first month free. I mention that because a single license of ChatGPT4 is $20 USD a month. So for half the price, you get access to not one, but seven of the best and the biggest LLMs, plus all the other bells and whistles and features I'm going to show you. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and click on Get Started. And now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and start using the Artifacts window. All right, so here we are. And I just want to show you really quickly here an example of what you can do. In this case, we're in GPT4 Omni. Again, if I click on that little down arrow, you'll see here I can select from all of these different uh, LLMs. But this is stick with 4 Omni on this one. Watch this. I've created a basic drawing app using artifact style second window or separate window. And look at this. When I click on it here, I'm just going to click and hold down my mouse. And you can see here that I have created a basic drawing app and it works perfectly. And it's also got a preview mode and a code mode so if I click on code you can see the exact code that went into it when I click on preview look at that it's back to normal or it's back to basic I can go ahead and type in something else again let's just go high and then look at this I'll hit shift and I can save this sketch so this works perfectly I'm going to show you how to do that all you got to do here is just tell it type in develop a drawing app where users can create and save their sketches now this video is not about specifically what the best prompts are this is just to show you the incredible functionality in chat LLM teams. If I go to the next tab here, this is in Gemini 1.5 Pro. I've gone ahead and done it again. You'll see here I said develop a drawing app where users can create and save their sketches. Show the code and preview and presto, it has done it. Here is the code that it used. You can, of course, go ahead and copy and paste it. It also shows it underneath as well here. So it's in both places. But... More interestingly, when I click on preview, the app works. I can just sit here and start typing. So there is just one example of the things we can create. I'm going to show you a few more while I got you. All right, so in that previous example, I showed you how we use GPT-4 Omni and Gemini 1.5 Pro. But look at this one here. Now we're in Llama 3, as you can see here. And I've created an interactive to-do list. And let's test it out here. I'm going to add in a new task. Let's say... Uh, make dinner okay we're gonna make dinner add task it works it's awesome it works here and it's in llama 3 how did i do it it is super simple i'm just going to open up another tab of chat llm teams i'm going to switch from 4 omni or gpt4 omni to llama 3 and then i'm going to say make an interactive to-do list something simple like that it is so easy to do there it goes there's the code there opens up the separate window. The to-do list is there. Let's enter in a new task. I don't know. Go to the store. Something like that. Add task. Works perfectly. This is fantastic. I'm now going to show you how Claude Sonnet 3.5 works with chat LLM teams. All right. And last but not least are the Claude LLMs. They both have artifact windows in chat LLM teams. Take a look at this here. I've got Claude Sonnet 3.5 selected here, and I just asked it to do a basic portfolio website. And you'll see here on the right side that it has gone ahead and executed it and created it in the dedicated window as it does. You can click on the preview mode. You can click on the code mode. This is fantastic stuff, but Claude Sonnet is the original LLM that has the artifacts window. Let's see what happens with Claude Opus. You'll see here I've got Claude Opus selected. Same thing. We've got the artifacts window. Look at this. This is fantastic stuff. I asked it again to design a portfolio website with sections for projects, skills, and contact information. It's done it. But it can go a step further. Watch this. If I said, hey, add in a section 
for blogging, just something like that. I'll hit enter. It's going to go ahead and redo the code here. And you'll see in real time that this basic second window here is going to get a blog tab added to it without me even have to hit reload or anything. Just watch this. I'll zoom this forward in post-production so you can see it a little quicker. Look at that. Now it's finished up. You'll see here that it is added in blog and that is fantastic. That's how you do it, guys. Chat LLM Teams has artifact style windows for all the big LLMs for half the price of a Chat GPT-4 license. You really got to try it. And if you're still not sure, you get the first month free. It's awesome. Give it a try. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.